We'll go back to Fallout 3. Um, as you can see, I've bought all the house um, things. I think I've done that off screen. So we've got a jukebox, um, an infirmary, which is really good. Like, you can do all this. You can remove all rads, damage limbs, heal yourself. Got chemistry set. I don't. I don't really know what that does. Uh, Nuka Cola. You can get some ice cold Nuka Cola. Look at that. Eight of them. It's really very very good. Really like it. And I think. I think that's it. I think that's just a spare room. This guy I watch on YouTube, uh, Linkashu64. He's so organised that he put like his items in this, something else in this, and so forth. Like. I just don't have the patience for that, that's why he's all in this locker right here. But anyway, what are we doing now? Ah yes, I think I know what I'm doing now. Um, oh yeah, and in the pit on the last video, do you know when I said that uh, ammo maker was shit? Well, um, I finally figured out how to do it. So I got 220, 44 magnum rounds. Basically, you could put any ammo in there. So I just put loads of ammo I didn't need. I put all the 10mm ammo in and just made a shit ton of 44 magnum rounds. So where are we going? We're going to go to Oasis. And we go from Vault 92. Oasis is one of my favourite quests. Oh, Sally can wait. Don't look back in anger. That's a reference to the band Oasis. By the way, I know I've ruined the joke. Shut up. <laughs> All right. Oh, Sally, can wait. I kind of like Oasis. What's down here? Can I discover this location? I don't think so, but I, don't, I, don't, I really don't think so. No. No. But I think there's a unique sniper rifle in here. If it's the bit I'm thinking of. Nope, it is not. Oh shit. Oh damn. Alright, I miss. No! No, no, I want that. I want that. Where is it? Oh, I thought you threw a grenade. Fucking beast gun. So yeah, when you do the pit, I recommend you pick this gun up. So incredibly accurate. Yeah, I only made 44 magnum rounds because uh, the 5.56 five, rounds you can find anywhere, so I'm really not bothered about losing uh, assault rifle rounds. But do you have any assault rifle rounds? No, you got them, and I like them. Cause we got, we've got a lot of weight now because I sold some shit. I've push, put some shit in the uh, um, locker. Oh damn! So that's foot. Uh, 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 Sally, Didn't mean to take that. Uh, sleep in the bed for a bit. I've been sleeping here instead. I've been sleeping in my bed. And I just heard the next door neighbour laughing because I was singing. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. I do have a window wide open, so it does make sense. This way, yeah. Let me have a bit of pot noodle first. Chicken and mushroom, by the way. Yum, yum, yum. I love pot noodles because I work in a in a shop or store, whatever you call it. Um, I get discount. And it's a very cheap shop anyway, it's like 59p for um, a pot noodle. I don't know what that is in cents. But 
I don't think there's any of them in uh, US. Well, uh, there isn't any of them in the USA, but um, I work at Farm Foods, by the way. If you're in the UK, you might know what that is. If if you don't, it's it's just pretty much as a clone of Iceland, but it's just cheaper and shit. And I get discount, 15% discount, so I just buy a shit ton of snacks. Oh my god, it's one of you! Oh, okay, that's not going to do anything. I thought it was a Yao Guai for a bit. Damn, son! You got knocked the fuck out. Please don't get back up. Not yet. I'll give me a chance to fucking damage you. Oh, that's number seven. Oh, I'm hockey dancing for number seven. Damn, son, I'm getting royally fucked. Death Tools should, shouldn't be a problem at this point anyway. Why am I failing? Oh my god. What? So inaccurate. Come on, come on, come on. I'm crippled now, fam. Haha, <laughs> your friend's dead. God, he looks like he's casting a spell there, doesn't it? Oh. oh. I actually should have killed that guy with fat so I had full vats. Oh, I thought to me there's another one. Oh my god. You ugly fuck. Go the way. Oh, did he kill the Rat Scorpion? That was very nice of you, Deathclaw. Take all that. <clears throat> okay. So what was I saying? Yeah, it was about the shop. I get 15% discount. And I usually... Whoa, that was such a weird sight. I just buy a ton of snacks. Like biscuits, pot noodles, drinks. Um... Chicken, uh, just stuff I got, you know, sweets. I got some chewits beer. Really nice it is. So show my family. Ah, yum yum, apple juice. Yeah, that's also what I bought from there, apple juice. Needed some juice, fam. Love apple juice. And pineapple juice. Oh, yeah. Apple juice and pineapple juice. I don't think anybody's wrote a song about that, but okay. Um. Oh, hello. You right, mate? This gun is quite bowler at this point. Did I really? Did I really get you mad? <laughs> Fucking love this gun. So show me family. Tell me where I went wrong. I will write a song. You be I belong to you, and you belong to me, and my sweet heart. Damn, son. Oh, Overlord. Damn, son, it's an Overlord. Did I really just miss those? I love this armor. Ooh, 
Who's next? There we are. Mm. Oh yeah, that's a good find. Go on then. I know we're going to get a unique one at some point. But, why not? Um, on time. Enjoy. Oh my god. I thought I was dead. You saved me. They dropped this stuff. Why don't you take it? It's all I have. Um. Nah, you need it more than I will. You're right, it's dangerous out here. I... I have to go before more of them come. Yeah, go on. Run! Run! And um, where are you going? You're a fucking retard, mate. Isn't there a... Death Claw Sanctuary around there? Yeah, retard. What's in the end? Oh, oh, Cecilia, you're breaking my heart. Been sing singing a lot in the last few episodes. Don't know why. Because I've spoken about everything pretty much in Fallout Three. Um. But yeah, I really like this next quest. It's really good. It's very, very good. Oh, it's this end. Oh, 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 my gosh. Here we are. Thank you. We're going to reach a level cap very soon. Here we are. Here we are. Here we go. Here we go. I took a bus to Chinatown Alright This is usually where I get stuck, I don't know which way I have to fucking go Let's go this way fam I'm pretty sure it's the furthest way to the back which is Yeah, it's this way Because <clears throat> the entrance is right at the back yeah. <clears throat> Clear my throat. There we are. Oh. 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 Here's to you, Nicola and Bart. Uh. Pardon me. Very, very rude. What's down here, Anne? No, why? In the wasteland? Oh shit, I didn't save the guy. Or whatever it was. What was it? It's a wastelander it was. Damn, son. That was a hunter. Damn, son, if you can't kill a Yao Guai, why are you hunting? That's what I forgot. We have to go collect a new companion at some point. <clears throat> but we are going to explore every single area. So. so yeah, I want this game to be 100% complete. Pretty much, anyway. Except for the stealing gods. I'll probably go back for them at some point. But, um, but yeah. Even if I don't, I want it all completed. Like, all unmarked quests done. All locations done. Well, not all on on marked quests. Um, all marked quests. That's what I'm on about. Um, I want all the bobbleheads, which I know I know where all the uh, all of them are. Or well, I'll know where they all are once, like as soon as I get to the area, I know there's a bobblehead there. Um, all behemoths killed. Um, what 
One else. Where's the entrance to this place, farm? I just want to discover the location so I can just fast travel to where the entrance is. Uh, damn. No, don't. Oh, I thought he was going to crash. But it didn't. Which is good. This game is a pain in the ass for crashing. We've obviously gone the wrong way. Um, have we gone? Yeah, we must have, yeah. Achoo! Excuse me. Uh. This way, here we go. This has got to be it up here. It must be. Look at this path. Yep. It's got to be. 100% sure. Yep. Definitely. You have discovered Oasis. Outsider, you have arrived. Please come closer. I have something of the utmost urgency to speak to you about. Do hurry. He doesn't like to be kept waiting. Right, two seconds, buddy. Just want to have a bit of pot noodle. Ah, yum, yum, yum. I'm so glad you're here. It's been a while since anyone's visited us. And he's been waiting for someone like yourself to arrive. If you wouldn't mind following me, I'll bring you right to him. Just a minute. Who are you and what is this place? I'm sorry. In my excitement, I got ahead of myself. I'm Tree Father Birch. And I have the great fortune of being leader of his people, the Tree Minders. <sighs> Beyond that gate is our home, Oasis. Who's waiting for me inside? Why, he is, of course. If you'll just follow me to the pavilion, all will be explained. Okay, I'll follow you. Lead on. Excellent. Please, follow me. All will be explained soon. Good, 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 because I'm confused. Hello, you are yeah. welcome amongst us, outsider. <coughs> Ugh, God, I got. Oh, that was a bad seize. <laughs> Safety hazard and getting rads. You have no idea how overjoyed I am to see you. Normally, outsiders are forbidden inside Oasis, but he has made an exception. I can't explain it, but I feel this place just teeming me with life. That's his power you feel, outsider. With his outstretched limbs, he shelters us and keeps us safe. The way you're saying him, I could swear you're referring to a god. He's no mere god, my friend. He is the one who grows, he is the one who gives, and he is the one who guides. And he is the one who knocks. Thanks to him, the tree minders have a home. I may be willing to help, but I need a straight, straight answer who he is. I would have preferred that he made the introduction, but I understand your hesitation. The Great One is a god tree. A living, breathing, speaking god tree. The tree minders are blessed to have this being watch over us. Sort of the banging noises, by the way. Like, I'm eating a pot noodle while fucking commentating. It's weird. Alright. Why do you call yourself tree minders? We care for this place and keep it safe from those who would seek to exploit it. He gives to us, so we give back to him. It's an arrangement that's worked well for almost two decades. 
We shun technology and embrace nature. That's the life of a tree minder. If we hate technology, why carry weapons? Sadly, the wasteland is a hostile place, and sometimes we're forced to defend ourselves against it. If that means fighting with manufactured weapons, then so be it. Had he not asked to see you, you never would have gotten this close to the gates. Which brings us to why I'm here, I suppose. Yes, indeed it does. Sorry, I don't speak to outsiders very often, and I tend to get lost in conversation. As you approached Oasis, he said you were coming, and I was sent out to meet you personally with a request. He wishes to meet with you. You'd be the first outsider to do so in a very long time. I would be honored. Yes, person. To meet him, you must undergo the ceremony of purification. Once that's complete, you'll be able to speak to him. Whenever you're ready, we may begin. Um. Just wait a minute. What does the ceremony involve? It's simple, really. You drink the sap from the basin here in the pavilion. The sap will purify your mind and body of anything harmful that could possibly hurt him. I assure you, nothing harmful will happen to you. Okay, let's begin the ceremony. Very good. Take your place in front of the basin and let's begin. Rejoice! The Great One wishes to see you! Please, drink the sap from the basin. We will now recite the blessing to ward off any harm the outsider may be carrying before he proceeds to the grove. I bid you depart, agents of destruction, through the power of his divine will. Leave our homes and bodies <coughs> immediately. Live no longer in them, but pass over into places where you can harm no one. In I feel so high. Places, I call his wrath upon you, so that wherever you may go, you bear it with you. And diminishing from day to day, you may disappear, except where you serve the health and good purposes of mankind. May no trace of you be found. All this, may he be so good as to grant us, who is to come to judge the living and the dead. And the world by his rigid. Uh, Amen. Amen. Soon, you will pass peacefully into sleep outside. And when you awake, you will witness his glory firsthand. to see you're finally awake. I can't believe they made you do that stupid ceremony. <laughs> they listen when I talk, but they don't hear. You know what I mean? Uh, by the way, I think this guy's on Fallout 1 or 2. I can't remember which one. I've never met a talking tree before. Neither have I. Well, I mean, I talked to Herbert, but he never really says anything back. <laughs> Do you, Herbert? He kept growing around me. Maybe for calling him Herbert all the time. His name's really Bob. I think it's funny when I call him Herbert, though. <laughs> <laughs> so you dropped in there inside this Herbert, I mean Bob thing? Well, I suppose you could look at it that way. 
See, Bob used to ride around on top of my head, sunk his roots right in there, you know? Well, eventually, he got bigger than me, and then I pretty much ended up inside. How did a tree end up growing out your head? It was a long time ago. I tend to lose track. I was exploring some sort of a military base with some other people. I think it was called Mariposa. Mariposa. We were pretty deep inside and we found some weird vats of this nasty green goo. Right when we were about to leave, I think we were attacked. Yeah. Yeah. Last thing I remember before blacking out was something knocking my friend into the stuff. Well, hopefully your troubles will be over. I'm here to help. You have no idea how glad I am to hear that. Or... We're glad to hear that, me and Bob. I had you brought in here to ask a very simple favor. Would you please kill me? Want me to murder you? Oh no, 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 no. It wouldn't be murder. You'd be doing me a favor. You see, I've been stuck here for over two decades now, rooted right into the ground. The only friends I've got are Bob and those weirdos out there who think I'm a god. Uh, if I kill you, every tree minder will come after me. Oh. Don't worry about them. When you decide to go down there, I'll have a little chat with Birch and the rest of the gang. They usually don't understand a word I say, but I'll make them come around. Um, how would I be able to kill you? Your tree? How to put this? I've been feeling rather spread out lately. I think Bob's kind of shoved my insides around some. <laughs> it's hard to tell where everything is, but it's always that way with one's insides, isn't it? Anyway, I believe Bob's carried some of my organs into his root system. I want you to go underground and destroy my heart. Um, okay, I'll do it. You will? Oh, oh you, you made us so happy. Oh. oh, isn't that right, Bob? Just, just give me a little time to say goodbye to good old Bob, and then I'll be ready. Uh, uh, well, goodbye for now then, Herbert. Or was it Bob? No, no. Herbert is the tree. Bob is his real name, but I call him Herbert because I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> but I'm still in here too. What's left of me? The name's Harold. Okay. Um. Into the caves, blow and destroy his heart. All right. Now it's quite a long conversation. 
Can't wait for it to end. <laughs> uh, pardon me. Oh, the beds here, have they? I can't sleep in them though. Damn! I'm so I can sit on a tree stump. <laughs> and I'm telling you, you've got it all wrong. Why else would he have called for an outsider's assistance? The outsider is here to deliver us from our enemies, to keep this place safely locked away from the wasteland, not to exploit us. How can we preach about peace when all you want to do is keep his gift all to ourselves? That's not what he would want. If we allow the spread of this miracle to continue, we're putting him in jeopardy. I can't allow that. I won't allow it. Once again, my husband, we are at an impasse. I suggest we speak to the outsider. Hello. Agreed. Why else would the outsider have been allowed into the grove? Perhaps it's a test. Yes, that must be it. I know why you're here, and despite what my wife thinks, I know you'll do what's best for Oasis. After all, he chose you, and he would never want to put us in harm's way. I'm afraid Harold isn't a god, he's just a human that had some bad luck. Oh, he's testing you now, just like he tested us. He wants to see if your faith is strong by spinning these incredible stories. Who else but a god could produce all of this? Don't worry, you'll soon see things as I do. Did you know your god wants me to kill him? Yes, I've been pondering that riddle myself for some time now, and I think I know what he's trying to tell us. The Great One's influence is growing, and soon it will break free of the confines of this secluded veil. We can't allow Oasis to call attention to itself like that. It would be the end of him. Um. Uh, so what can I do to help? If the same sap that you drank to purify yourself could be applied to his heart, it should stop the spread. I can promise you no harm would come to him. That's all I ask of you, outsider. Nothing more, nothing less. Oh, uh, I actually don't know which is the best option. I love Birch, but sometimes I think he doesn't see the big picture. The spreading of his influence is not a curse. It's a great miracle. A benefit meant for the entire wasteland. Doesn't anybody care what your god thinks? Of course we do. He yearns to share his miracles with the whole world. To give the gift of life back to the dead wasteland. It's upsetting him to no end. But Birch can't see the pain it's causing. But now that you're here... I have a feeling the winds are about to change. Uh, how can I possibly help? I heard what my husband wanted you to do. What I propose is an alternative. The same person that created the sap also created this liniment. If you can reach his heart, it will assist him in making his influence increase. Instead of centuries, the wasteland will become green in mere decades. Just imagine how glorious that would be. Oh, yeah, um... Apparently it doesn't matter what you do. If you burn him alive, uh, that's bad karma. But we're not going to do that. I'm going to kill him. Because that's what he wants. No, I would do the same if I ever saw a talking tree and he wanted me to kill him. I would kill him. Because nobody understands the pain he's going through, you know. So, yeah, and there's Milo Kings down here, by the way. And I think there's normal Milo as well, but I don't know. Probably is. Oh shit, it's a dead body. Okay. Uh, I think villagers will hate me after this, but who gives a fuck? Who gives a flying fuck what you think, villager? Right. Fuck 
fucking OP fam. Really high critical strike uh, thing he has. Blinkers repeater. Oh, my look king. Come at me, bro. He's trying to sneak up at me. Man. Damn, your head came off like a motherfucking head. You know what else I meant to mean, but just go with it, Bay. Any more? Rad Roach? The fuck's a Rad Roach doing? Scared me. Hello. I don't think you, I can hit you from there, can I? <laughs> Bloody idiot, man. Bloody lardy dardy big balls, like. Come on, put a sock in it. I thought there was a swimming part, and when you, when you leave the water, it's just loads of Milo King. Must be wrong. Well, not loads, but a couple. Oh, there might be then. Sunken chambers. Like, I'm 90% sure there is, because I remember I shipped myself. I was like, ah! Not literally, by the way. Oh! Milo King. Come at me, bro. Yeah, these guys are just the ball in the park. What's up here? What's up here, damn fam? Crutches. Move out the way, fucking rib cage. Screw it, I don't I don't want them I don't want it, I don't want it, I just can't be asked. Alright, uh this. Yep, yep. Uh what the hell's that? It's a baseball glove. Uh. Okay, let's go. So a bed I can, yep, I can sleep in the bed. Good, 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 good. <clears throat> Zero fucks are given.
Easy peasy. Don't really want that either. Number five. Number four. Let's go with that. We haven't used plasma weapons in a while. Oh. Get away. A random missile, like was that the heart making the noise? Oh, I, thought, I always thought there was a swimming part. You've been exposed to Howl's mutation, and your skin is now as hard as a bark tree. Ugh. Okay. He's definitely dead. What's down here? Damp cave. Our new could call a quantum IC. Fuck! Oh my Jesus Christ, uh, yes. What the fuck did he come from? Ah uh ha! -huh. That's the third fucking jump scare from my looks. Fucking keep away from me. Wait. Damn. What? Oh, there's a ramp. Shit. Or do they just randomly spawn? If they randomly spawn, I'm, out. I'm going home, boys. I want this. I don't want this gun. Christ alive. There isn't a ramp. I'm not telling you they randomly spawn. What the fuck is he? They randomly fucking spawn. Horrifying. I just want the quantum and I'm gone. Where did he go? So he just randomly spawned right next to me. Oh my god, this is the swimming part. Oh no, it's not. Come on, leave. I'm not I'm not gonna risk breaking the fucking lock. I'm going home. Well the great one is dead. Slain by your hand. Don't worry, I hold no grudge towards you. You'll have to forgive my people at a time like this, outsider. They aren't used to being so lost. And for once, 
I don't have the words to help them. I have to say I'm surprised you aren't angry with me. Before you reached his heart, he imparted his last words to me. He told me about his will to die and how I mistook this for some mystical sign. How could I have been so blind? How could I have misled all these people? Perhaps, if I would have spent more time getting to know him, things would have turned out different. Uh, you might do. Even though the Great One has left us, our memories of him will never die. With Bloomseer Poplar's help, I'm confident we can keep Oasis alive and carry on as tree minders. Go now, outsider. Go, but never forget the gifts the Great One bestowed upon us. Oh, we finished already, okay. Uh, we'll check bar on one more. Um, no, we won't. We'll just check that to 70. Uh, Madison on 85. We we'll check the three points on to. Melee, I suppose, yeah. If dog meat dies, you'll be able to get a new canine abandoned. There's a of puppies. Just wait a bit and you'll find your new food for my not so I vault 101. No. Oh, that's cool. Damn, that was a scary room. To now. now that Harold's gone, I lost my bestest friend. All I want to do is cry. I have to go. Uh, Alright, nothing more. Nothing more. <laughs> Welcome, outsider. Welcome to. What's down here, in? Down here, fam. Nothing? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, that's a scary part. Just randomly spawning, my lurks, dang it. So, what are we gonna do in the next video? I know what we're gonna do. See you in the next video, guys.